Welcome back to The Break Room. A new teaser for Loki season two was released with a lot of interesting new shots. Let's discuss. I'm Brandon Barrick, who cares? Joining me today, we have Tommy Bechtel. Hey, oh, my favorite people <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> Daddy's home and he loves you. Oh, baby. We're so thankful to be on a, a medium like YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's not freewheeling vagrants like Twitch where it's oh. a bunch of toothless yokels sta stammering around the Wild West. Interesting. Just like, oh, I'm live. I'm live now. What does that even mean? Go archived media videos. <laughs> Loaded up to YouTube. That's where it's, it's at. Archived media. <laughs> archived media is the future. I like it. I like it. Uh, also joining us today, we've got Gina Ippolito. I stopped paying attention after MySpace became a thing. Oh, oh you gave up after MySpace. Yeah. That's why you're always shouting at me, I need my space, I need my space. Yeah. That oh, makes I need yeah. my space. That's the only reason. Get out of my bedroom. <laughs> it's four in the morning. Why aren't you home taking care of your dog? I've been watching you. <laughs> I stopped after Friendster, folks. Uh, of course, the SAG and WGA strikes are still going on, and we have not forgotten about our brothers and sisters on the line every day. Uh, none of this is being done in promotion of this new Loki show or anything like that, where we're doing solely reviews and editorial content, as SAG is outlined, is okay to do. Uh, we're not being paid by the studios, nothing like that. This is just... Us reviewing uh, a trailer that they put out. Oh, to to be shot. fair, I did go to the Disney store in the Orlando airport what? last weekend and a guy Ooh. handed me 50 bucks and said, say something nice about the store. Mm. So Just I'll say guy. this. It did not smell like piss. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. Uh, ringing endorsement. Oh, for... God, I just scammed. Oh, boy. A ringing endorsement for MCO, folks. Uh, let's talk about this new Loki uh, season two teaser trailer we got. Uh, we're gonna watch it again right here, go through it real fast, and then we'll talk about some of the finer points of this trailer. So let's cue it up. All right. Get your eyeballs ready. Um. Again. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can actually see the zany act. Yeah. I'm feeling better and better about my serial killer. <laughs> oh. Lots of ties. Lots of ties. Mm. Ooh. Now was that Vic Timely? Was that him? Was that Jonathan Major's voice in the trailer? We do hear his voice yeah. in the trailer, yes. Uh, and we have a lot of uh, new shots, some old shots we've already yeah. seen, but a lot of new shots in this trailer. Um, let's start. Let's start going through it entirely. Uh, first off, I love the music in this. Yeah, yeah it's great. season one was well known for its like soundtracks, very unique. Mm -hmm. A lot of that theremin yeah. kind of like. Woo! Yeah. Uh, I'm glad to see that they're not just like keeping that. It's like they found a new weird sound yeah. to the show. Yeah, send us your weird sounds. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like it. There's a little, it's, 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 uh, it's, it reminds me of something and I don't know what. Beetlejuice. Oh, Beetlejuice. <laughs> don't say it again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. It's like a Danny Elfman line. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like yeah. those uh, kind of before Christmas. Yeah. yeah, yeah, those like breathy, like ha ha ha, that yeah. like that kind of stuff. Was it? Was that? Was that like White Lotus or? Uh, yeah, white. Yeah, white Lotus. Yeah, a little Lotus. bit of like that kind mm -hmm, of like mm -hmm. uh, By the way, unsettling uh, voice. Hopefully, this only goes to uh, Tiesto and not any greedy producer. But treat yourself to the White Lotus Tiesto remix on Spotify. <laughs> oh, okay. It is. is it good? Do you like? Oh, it? it's. You know what? You can play that at parties, and it takes people a solid two minutes to be like, this is great. What is this from? And then you're like, it's the opening credits from a, a, a dramedy TV show. Just for like three hours? It's just the opening credits on a loop? Well, no. It's like he mixes. It's like a six-minute mix. Okay. Like okay. That's how long record. my parties last. Six minutes. Six-minute parties. I've, I've been to them. You're being generous. <laughs> Four minutes in, it's like, well, Gina's three wine coolers she provided her <laughs> on, and she's passed out from drinking an eighth of one. We lost her, folks. I like to nap. Uh, she let's, loves to nap, and I love to lie. Let's highlight a few moments uh, that we like from the trailer. First of all, let's talk about uh, Mobius's suit here. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, we got an image of Mobius walking out on the, the walkway, approaching uh, what looks like an unspooled timeline. We now know from sh uh, different... Uh, 
poster art that they revealed for the show, like mm. some of the background posters. This is called the Temporal Core. Yeah. This thing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we have that shot of him like kind of walking back from it. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it looks like, you know, kind of what we talked about before. It looks like it's trying to mend the timeline, mm -hmm. kind of take all these disparate things and put them back mm -hmm. into one single timeline. There's some sort of like lights shooting off from it. We couldn't tell if he was like tethered to it mm. or if mm. you can like pull off single strands or something like I that. Know, that would be fun. I have like a uh, like a sense memory thing of that because my dad is a machine, is like a repairman okay. kind of by trade. Now he has a machine shop, but and he used to have to like respool wiring or like connect wiring mm -hmm. together. Oh. And it just reminds me of the different tools, like a large version where he would have to like take two different like clamps to like get the copper wiring and then the other wiring that was gonna like connect the electricity together. It looks like Owen Wilson is doing a large scale version of that. Oh, that's yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. That's fun. I'm gonna, I, have my, I'm gonna call my dad and have him describe what those tools are. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. For yeah, a really yeah. fascinating. Clamps! He'll be uh, like, I have no son. I, I would go in that suit. I, that looks kind of yeah. fun. I would I would waddle out there in yeah. that little suit. It's a good, it's a good design. <laughs> I'd like to see in that yeah, suit. Yeah, nice to do a little waddle. And it feels like, the infrastructure that's been built here is not like brand new or anything like that. It looks like it's probably yeah. been there always. Now we don't know if, you know. For all time. For always. all time. If this was something that existed in the original TVA that we saw in the first season, yeah. or if whatever rewrite happened when Loki came back and no one knew who he was. Yeah. If like this new TVA has been working to undo what happened in the first season, right? Yeah. And it's been around for a while for them, but for like Loki, it's brand new, right? I mean, we know from season one that like stuff was old and stuff was glitchy. Right. The, the nudifying robot was a little glitchy <laughs> when it when it nudified uh, Loki, mm. and like everything did have this like seventies vibe. But you would think that a uh, uh, an all powerful being who could create three very uh, advanced Chuck E. Cheese style robots <laughs> could like yes. also develop robots to like update things and keep it keep it tight. Well. One of my, and, and I think kind of in a uh, concert with that theory, one of my theories is that Victor Timely is the variant that is he who remains, okay. but has now started back over, like mm. has like a, had like a fail safe if he was ever killed. He's now back in the Chicago World's Fair time. And that's why we're seeing newer tech or different kind of tech. Oh. There's a lot of this is going to be based on the Victor Timely personality of making these inventions and like these like steampunk like time timeline variant inventions mm. that people have to so he retained the knowledge he yes got, oh i want to do that i want to get killed but retain all my knowledge well, and start over i'm working on something okay right now. oh I'm in. fascinating but uh I'm in. but yeah so i think because I, I mean you know i'll go into my other main time theory for this uh season soon which will soon be disproven and i'll be uh as usual Shamed. left in disgrace mm -hmm. but, excellent excellent but i think the reason we're seeing new tech is because we're getting victor timely's new uh, manipulation of the TVA. And okay, okay. 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 Uh, we also got a close. You know, we saw some close-up shots of this suit uh, that Mobius is wearing in the sequence. And here Ooh. you see uh, the duct tape we saw get put on in the first uh, teaser <laughs> yeah. trailer that came out. Holding the suit's up. being like eaten away. Yeah. Right? yeah. By yeah. radiation or whatever's out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. That's time how powerful particles. it is. Maybe time particles. Time particles. I just made that up, you guys. Tarticles. Uh, Eric Voss has talked about the theory that like they're using Tartic the temporal <laughs> core to like energize the TVA. Like it's 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 the power of the TVA. So that like there's almost like radiation or energy yeah. or like mm. electricity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something like that. And it's it's clear that you know the time the temporal core is causing this damage. Because when you see the suit before, it's not as damaged, right? Yeah. So there it is there. Needs it's more, cleaner. Needs more duct tape. Yeah. Needs more duct tape. And people joke about duct tape, but they do have duct tape they use. NASA yeah. uses yeah. duct tape. And also- There's you, different grades of duct There's well, duct tape that's like immune to radioactivity and stuff like that. You know, really? me, me, and, uh, me and, uh, and our, our brilliant director, Dashiell, we're, you know, we're crew guys. Okay. We're rough and tumble. You're rough we're and, you're, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys are front of the camera, mm -hmm. glory hounds. Yeah. Dashiell and I, we're meat and potatoes. You're below the line. Come home, cut a steak with a butter knife, yell at our wife kind of guys. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. we, there's a thing called Strat gaffer's tape. Yeah. And I swear to God, you get a piece of gaffer's tape on your skin, good luck, it's there forever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't do that. That's like duct tape on steroids, okay? Yeah. Now us blue collar daddies are gonna know that stuff. And I know you softies up here aren't gonna be mm. aware, but I, let me give you another warning. Okay. If you buy something that looks like duct tape, but it doesn't have the duct tape brand oh. on it. Okay. You're setting yourself up 
to be humiliated. Are you? Are you? Because that duct tape or that faux duct tape okay. has the structural integrity of a snow cone. Okay. Mm. Are you simping for? Big duct tape Yeah. Now? What's happening? I'm saying it's one of the few times that your boy will say the brand name is the brand name wow. for a reason and the imitations are inferior and will simply come apart like masking tape despite their appearance of being something that can hold a space helmet together while okay. stitching together a timeline. So you okay. think even though the TVA exists outside of space and time, yeah. they, they go brand name all I'm the sure way. they have the budget for okay. it. Yeah. I Victor Timely must be a, have been early on crypto and yeah. knew when to get out too. Buy the dip, diamond hands. Boom. Oh. Uh, I love it. Uh, we also get some other cool shots of this trailer we wanted to, to look at. Um, you, you spoke about Victor Timely, Tommy. Uh, we see this incredible shot uh, of you know what looks uh, like you know the walkway to the temporal core. Mm -hmm. They've got a little figurine. They're gonna talk about how to go do it. But then who's that at the end there? Yeah, oh. one Mr. Victor Timely. Uh, yeah. What is he doing there, folks? Why is he there? You know, I just I just realized that, uh, you know how in Unbreakable, when Samuel L. Jackson, like all the clues that Samuel L. Jackson is right. the bad guy, spoiler alert, yeah. is like one is that they have like misshapen heads and then his hair is cut in this little like side triangle yeah. okay. thing. And it's one of the clues that like, oh, he's talking about comic book villains. This is a Victor Timely thing. Like you can mm. really see his yeah. sharp triangle hair that he's got going on here. Yeah. Keys to the fact that he's a bad guy. Now that's a timely reference. Is is he a bad guy in this though? I don't know. I don't know. I think he's the big, I think he starts off se seemingly mm -hmm. friend uh -huh. and then is quickly revealed to, to be, be foe. Soup noodles foe. Cause it looks fa. like- it He's looks fa. <laughs> But he's like sort of, a, he's like a Howard Starkian type. Yeah. So maybe these are two right. two different ways that they can mm -hmm. go because because you know, like, Howard Stark, mm -hmm. also World's Fair connoisseur. Yeah, that's true. He did love a World's Fair. He loved a World's Fair. Him, Walt Disney. Yeah. The H.H. The Holmes loved a World's Fair. <laughs> uh, if this is Victor Timely, like, working with Loki and Sylvie and Mobius okay. and OB, right? Mm -hmm. Why Why do you think they would be working with him? Does, does he know who he becomes? Do you think mm -hmm. this is, like, a... A Victor Timely that knows that he becomes he who remains, yes. oh. or is or are they utilizing like the man who would build the TVA? Yeah, to be like, how do we fix this? Don't ask any questions about it. <laughs> Don't, we can't tell you what this means. We I think that his death was not real. I explained it wrong in my earlier theory. I think he faked dying getting. Oh, okay. Ice. I think oh. he took this was all part of the plan. I think he faked, and then he just went back in time mm. and started over as Victor Timely. And by the time it got back to lo like present day, he had already influenced all of those things. So the TVA had become this celebration of another Kang that didn't look mm -hmm. like Victor Timely, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. looked like he who remains, so that Victor Timely could move, you know, without any question. People would be like, "Oh, like th that's this is a different." Mm -hmm. person. What if we what if we merge these two theories? that we have here, right? Mm -hmm. The idea that he dies and remembers everything mm -hmm. uh, and starts over again. What if he is constantly being killed by Loki and Sylvie? Like, yeah. and every time he's trying to perfect it a little bit more. Yeah. So that eventually he can get past this point. Cause maybe he is yeah. powerful enough to write, you know, write the timeline and sure. the script for everything up until a certain point. Okay. And when he says like, oh, I'm just bored and that's I don't know what happens anymore. That's like, to... he's, he's actually like, I can't get past you guys. That's, you guys yeah, keep killing me. Yeah, he needs to like learn a little bit more each time. Right, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. like Stephen King has run out of greenies and his wife can't refill the prescription anymore so he can't write for a couple weeks. <laughs> exactly like that. Yeah. Uh, exactly like that. Very specific reference. Yeah. Yes. Well, anyone out there who's a King fan, uh, I apologize to break down the facade <laughs> that your favorite author wasn't on offer. I, I like the idea that any Stephen King fan <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, an aware yeah. of it's his aware... prolific yeah. uh, Even uh, drug problem. he very problem. much like wrote it into several books. And like well, loves to talk also, about it. Also, he put out like 5,000 page books a year. Uh, whereas I have... Uh, How many books did you put out this year? This year, I put out one book. Uh, it was just simply known as The Street Bible. Mm. Uh, and it was available as one copy, five pages, 15 words. The Street uh, Bible. I like it. Now, 
this again leads into who is the person holding the figurine, right? Mm, I think that's the playing person? D&D. I think that that's, that's my theory for this scene. <laughs> they have They're very serious d like they, they went online and designed a little D&D figurine that's a little oh. space man. And they like find Victor Timely and they're like, we're about to show you a game that's going to blow your mind. Why don't we need a miniature sponsor for new rock stars? Oh, yeah. And Break, break Room specifically. Hero, Hero Forge, get on it. Come on. Yeah, Hero Forge, D&D Beyond, one of you two, get over here. Give us some miniatures. I I, I, I led you into moving this segment along because I want to pitch my next okay. thing. Uh-oh. Last season was all about Sylvie hiding in Apocalypse. Sure, mm-hmm. sure. I think this season is all about that guy from Zaniac. Is it Matthew Shaw? Is that the name of the actor that's in the comic books? Something like that. It's something... Brad Wolf. Brad Wolf. Brad Wolf yeah. Close enough. Uh, Matthew Shaw, Brad Wolf. Uh, I think that that guy is also a time traveler with Victor Tommy, and they're hiding in eras that had famous serial killers uh-huh. so that they can knock off original uh, uh, people who made TVA variant workers. So like the original Renslayer, oh. the original Hunter B-22. B- they're trying to... So this is like a Terminator scenario. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, not, they're, they're, trying to kill, they're... they're trying to kill all Who's of the Who's trying OG. to kill them? But we know from the Terminator it doesn't work. Well... Victor Timely might not. Victor Timely needs them all killed. He wants them killed. So they go to the World's Fair. H.H. H. Holmes okay. famously killing people during the World's mm-hmm. Fair to kill Renslayer. Okay. Prime. Renslayer Prime. They go to the 70s. Pick your serial killer in the 70s. Okay. We got okay. Zodiac. Son we got Night Sam. Stalker. We got Son of Sam. Oh, this actor had this premiere. Maybe they're killing... Who would be... Uh, maybe Maybe they're killing Hunter in that one. Maybe they're killing okay. uh, Keely Huang's character in that. Casey. Maybe Casey is from the 70s and must die. So They're knocking out the team. They're because, picking off the team. And, and Victor Timely is doing this because... I think we're going to find if you kill... The primes. The primes. Mm-hmm. Then once you prune the variants, they're dead forever. And he wants them dead because they're screwing up his TVA. Because or? then he can just have the TVA however he okay. wants. These are the people gotcha, who cracked gotcha. the code and I figured gotcha. out that the TVA is bull. It's okay. all. Uh, it's Oz. He's the like the kid the at school us. that's like, I want a Slurpee machine in, yes. the, in right. the cafeteria right. at the TVA. That's and right. Renslayer's there, and she's like, No, that's not a good pizza day. Will pizza. be every day. And yeah. Renslayer's like, No, some days you gotta have a vegetable yeah. based thing. It's, it's mandated by the government. Only nerds get the 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 salad the salad plate. Only <laughs> nerds get the salad plate. No, one day will be just salad plates. I mean, this makes sense. We did see Mobius in season one trying to eat a salad. Yeah. yeah. And what happened to him? He's fine. He's still in the show. The series yeah. regular. He's a series regular. Um, so if if that we, why if, I'm not if a we have, that's why you gotta eat a, you gotta eat a salad at least one. Uh, Never. <laughs> if we not see, yet, not ever. If, if, if Victor Timely is out there doing this, right, mm. and he's not currently in charge of the TVA, and there is a Kang in charge of the TVA, uh-huh. do you think we're, we'll see that Kang? Or is Victor Timely the only Kang we're going to see oh, in the show? I think, if we're, if, I think it's um, my opinion. We'll see two Kangs. Then. We'll see both yeah. Kangs. I, I think we'll see another Kang. I think, I think you know, Victor Timely's mannerisms are so different than he who remains. Mm-hmm. So if they are the same person, then he's just he, he seems like he's slowly going insane. Right. Mm. Uh, uh, but if they're two Sorry. different people, then I want to see like a third different wacky guy. Yeah. But I, I, I agree with that. But I think what to what you were saying, the mannerisms being different, a lot of people compared he who remains to like a Shakespearean actor, the mm-hmm. way he spoke. Mm-hmm. Maybe he is a brilliant actor. Maybe that's why his all motivation part of the show. to turn okay. Brad Wolf in, uh, into a movie star in the 70s is because... He can't help himself. He just oh. wants to get back to the arts. You yeah. know, it's talent. We yeah, just yeah. want to get back to the arts, but these greedy, mm. greedy studios mm. won't give us our fair piece of the pie. Mm. And now we got to sit here wearing Barbenheimer shirts, slugging Dunkin' Donuts, begging for <laughs> miniature sponsors. <laughs> miniature sponsors, tiny little sponsors who will fit in our pocket. Um, so if 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 they're they're trying to stop the other king who's uh-huh. in charge of the uh-huh, TVA, uh-huh. and they're using Victor Timely to do that because they need his knowledge of how the TVA works. Because remember, he who remains in the first season said when he told the story of all the kings, he's like, yeah. there was a scientist in like the 31st century, and he figured out we universes were stacked. Blah 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 yeah, blah. Yeah. He later reveal he who remained reveals that that was him. Mm-hmm. So if we're following all of this, mm-hmm. he starts as this scientist in the 31st century, yeah. figures this out. Goes and creates the TVA, becomes the remains, and now is going to be Victor Timely. 
Or do you think Victor Timely was first and then he became the yeah, Olympics? And I now he's just repeating that pattern? I disagree with Tommy. I don't think it's the same guy. Okay. It's two different guys. Who, to, uh, who's, to, who's two different guys? He I think remains Victor Timely and, Victor and Timely? Hugh remains okay. two different guys. All right. All right. I do, I do think that maybe they try and get Victor Timely's help. And he's like, why? And they're like, because we killed this guy. Yeah, and then yeah. like at some point, he's like going to see a photo of Hugh Remains. And he's like, what? What? Oh, oh what? Oh, that was me? Oh, oh that's fun. And then like he's going to like be turned against him because he's going to be like, you didn't tell me yeah. everything. So um, you, you envision this Victor Timely as an innocuous yeah, I person think, who's not aware of what he becomes. Yeah, I think oh. I think he's like the first okay. like Kang sort of like variant like or, or whatever. And he's just like, oh, dang, look what I just did. <laughs> Crazy. Yo, 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 World's Fair, check this yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, go to the World's Fair and he's going to be like, hey, yeah. this is crazy, you guys. And uh, What's up, uh, Instagram? It's your boy. <laughs> uh, it's Eric- your boy, Victor Timely. <laughs> Vicky Times. Just, just developing some time travel. Yeah. Um, it's lit. <laughs> Eric put out a breakdown of this trailer uh, today on the on the New Rockstars channel. Mm-hmm. And one thing he, he talks about is the idea that maybe this old machine we see, Victor Timely, is built... It's the same kind of mechanics as the yeah. the temporal core machine. Mm. So I, like I that was it. the first iteration. And what he's doing is like saying, don't worry, don't look at, you know, Nikola Tesla and Edison who are making like electricity. Yeah. We can get power from time. And like this is the machine he turns on, and that that will eventually become mm. the temporal core, which I will like power it. the TVA. So yeah, it might I be like an idea it. of like he doesn't know what he's messing with here. This yeah. idea of like he's almost quite got it. He yeah. doesn't know, and this power will corrupt absolutely. Yeah. Oh, and then humans will uh, exploit this just like they did with electricity and gas. Who? Humanity. Humanity exploited something humans. to its own benefit. Humans. I don't think that's true. Remember, no. at the end of Loki season one, uh, when Loki comes back, he sees that big Kang statue, mm-hmm. and so I think that that's the like that's the one that we're going to be seeing. That's, that's what not, I'm wondering if we're going to see that that's Kang. That's not Vic, Vic or is, timely. Well, and in the past, remember that statue was three, uh, yeah. the three members, the timekeepers who yeah. turned out to be false idols, yeah. not real. Chuck mm. Is it possible that this Kang that we saw as a statue is not real? Like yeah, that's a false say. idol. Are we like, real? What if what if Miss Minutes has created the idea of Kang and is like running everything? I would everything love it if Miss Minutes was the true mastermind. Oh, behind that would I think be we might be awesome. getting there. Well, we're gonna we're gonna talk more about Miss Minutes here in a second because uh, we see more of her in the show. Mm-hmm. But first, let's talk about the riot going on. The nerd riot. Uh, they've got a, a bunch of new shirts over at new nerdriot.shop. Lots mm. of Star Wars shirts we've been talking about lately mm. in honor of Ahsoka. Uh, the series Ooh. that was so important. Oh, I do love my Ahsoka so so stuff. Lots of cute stuff. There's like a Sabine Wren shirt too. Yeah, I There's also the did Star she Wars. Did she paint it herself? Uh, no, she did not. She's a fictional character. What? Incapable oh, of painting things. Also on nerdriot.shop, uh, we have some new Loki shirts coming soon. We can't even show them to you yet. We're working on some hot oh Loki merch. Uh, we might also be getting some break room merch very soon. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll believe it when I see it. I've been told that for a year. <laughs> well, Happy New Year. You know, the <laughs> definition of insanity is believing you'll see the break room merch. Oh, well, you might see it sooner than later. <laughs> hey, guys. Just like the rioters <laughs> hide bricks and other things to throw at the justified and noble police force. <laughs> Hide your shirts all over town just in case a riot breaks out. A nerd riot. If you're caught in the streets naked, <laughs> those hidden t-shirts will come in handy. Yeah, yeah. I, and then you, you can, but then you'll have to porky pig it. I, oh, you know, man. I, I had uh, changes of pants all over town. I should mention, I only Donald Duck it because my lower half is covered in feathers. <laughs> Hello. I've got feathery thighs. <laughs> That are uh, delectable. Then you shouldn't have to porky pig it because. Uh, no, my balls are huge. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, let's you keep get going. That checked out. You uh, get no, no, they're cancerous. Out. Trust me, they're huge. <laughs> they're not huge because I'm genetically blessed. They're huge because they oh, are it's poison. A problem. It's okay. a problem. We, anyway, I want to thank our sponsor. The poison balls are not uh, an end result of wearing Nerd Riot shirts. I wanted to say that. Those are two separate things. My balls were poisoned by power lines. Oh. These shirts oh, okay. have made dealing with the poisoned balls. Much more satisfying. Oh, great. Bearable, great. Bearable. I can look at this great shirt and then realize that every time I sit on one of my cornhole beanbag sized balls, oh, okay. mm-hmm. my impending death is made a little easier knowing I could be buried in this baby. Oh, great. Okay. Beautiful. Let's get on to Miss Minutes. Let's talk more about Miss Minutes. How about it? Uh, 
We do see uh, uh, another representation of Miss Minutes, a new mm. form, I guess. So this is a temp yeah. pad that Hunter B15 is using. Oh. A little different than the temp pads we saw last season, right? It's a little more square, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I dig Less it. Less rectangle. It reminds me of, uh, of a uh, I got a Zelda watch. I oh, like a oh tail, yeah. And you can like play you Zelda. You can play Zelda on it. Oh, yeah. I always like, wanted one of those. Little, it was a little, my watch was recording me as I said that. I don't know what <laughs> that will cause later. Temp Portal rift. You're gonna get some Zelda ads, that's yeah, for sure. I mean, fingers crossed. I mean, I used to love those old video games where it's like yeah. the character, the sprite can only move in like four different yeah, positions. Yeah, love it. Things were um, more challenging then. Yeah, it was much harder. Do you want to meet hot Zeldas in your town? That's the I ads do. I'm gonna get. I do. Um, so Hunter B B15 is trying to access some information uh -huh. on this, uh, and we get a little uh uh uh, -uh, uh, -uh from Miss Minutes. Yeah, which nice, is very Jurassic Park. Very Jurassic, very Dennis yeah, Medry. Uh uh, -uh. You didn't Damn Miss Hacker bullshit. Uh, but but please, and then then she yells please. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh, another Samuel L. Jackson reference. Another Samuel it's L. Jackson Samuel reference. Samuel L. kind of day. Um, now this could be Miss Minutes you know uh, keeping Hunter B15 out herself. Oh. It could be new regulations. Uh, from the mm -hmm. TVA, like, because remember, yeah, when Loki comes back, that Hunter B15 no and memory. Mobius don't yeah. recognize yeah. him at all, but it seems like they get together real quickly. They're trying to access things yeah. they can't. We know that even like Ravona Renslayer, right, at the very end of season one, she was given files yeah. from Miss Minutes that she had not had access to before, and she was very high up in the yeah. organization. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I've spent too much time in my life figuring out how I would convince family members uh, if they if their memories were wiped, okay. or if I came back from the future. I think, how mm. would I convince like my brother, for instance, like I'm from the future. I know this sounds crazy. So Wait, I so their memories were wiped and you're from the future in Listen, this scenario? Listen, it's a big soup of different okay. things. It's uh, a goulash. If, if like, let's say like my consciousness was transferred into 15 year old Gina's okay. consciousness. And like, I woke up and I was like. And you need to convince them yeah, like, that you I know more convince, than you, you, you yeah, do. Yeah, it's you're always right. my brother. Okay. And I'm always like, Dean, that's my brother's name. His name is Dean. Okay. Uh, uh, so like, now I, I can convince I'm from the future. Like, here's what I no, right. Uh, Do not bet against the Florida Marlins in 1998. <laughs> They're going to surprise you. But I hope in Loki we get him, like, I we get a little bit of him being like, hey, we were buddies. Right. Here's how I know. You love salads and jet skis. And then Mobius is going to be like, we're friends and that's all you know about me? Yeah, what yeah. the fuck kind of friend are that you? That sounds like a classic line from episode one. I like that. I like <laughs> yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. That works. That works for me. I almost wonder, because my thought is, why are their memories erased? Mm -hmm. And my thought would be, again, the failsafe, as I've mentioned before, mm. when he who remains is, is uh, it's like a reverse dead man switch. Oh, when, when okay. He, if his heart stops or something or whatever, right. his cosmic life force stops, it triggers this. Oh. And, and resets then, everything. And resets everything. That's, I like that theory. My theory was like that they're just they're at ground zero when everything's being reset. Right. So, so everything they know is Your being theory reset. Is sure. Much more logical. I mean, it's a Planet of the Apes type of thing, right? Yeah. Where it's like, oh, this is this is Earth, yeah. and we, you know, like this is all we've ever known, or the Planet of the Apes remake where Abraham Lincoln is a big ape. Yes. Uh, Abraham. Abraham Lincoln, I think is what they would call him. We both got there at the same time. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I like all that too. Or maybe the idea that, you know, uh, because they have primes and they're variants, you could kill the variants and go get new variants at any time. Maybe they're fresh variants. Oh. And they're all in the void and Loki has to go get them and like get oh. them out of the void. Could you, here, here's my question. If you needed a new liver, mm. could you could you take it from one of your variants? If you were a serial killer. I think in theory, if it's a close enough variant that you would match, I'm sure that would work well. Don't but you like think? I don't I don't I like know this. that Loki could get Sylvie's liver. Oh. And this goes back to a big question episode we did about whether or not them kissing is incest. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's because their genetic lineages are so different. Mm. They're even though they're the same person yeah. in theory, they're not of the same genetic material. So if he did PP and VV, the kids wouldn't be weird. Uh, no, I do not believe so. Though I, I think could... it could create some sort of paradox. And I think science yeah. has disproven that. It's more that that that's that that. Uh, Stop trying to make excuses. <laughs> <laughs> that information was given out just to try to deter people from. Uh, <laughs> Tommy, don't limit my Tommy? dating pool. Hey, do your own research before you decide not to Tommy? bang a blood relative, okay? Tommy? No, listen to me. 
this goes back to my great theory okay. from the prestige that Hugh Jackman was kissing his clones mm. before killing them. Oh, and, what a great what a great movie that was. Yeah. Remember you, that if you haven't seen the prestige, oh, yeah. there's a great reveal moment that I'm not gonna spoil, but I gasped. Yeah. It is great. I don't want to reveal it now because I feel like a lot of people didn't see the Don't movie. reveal it. Don't, there's no reason it. to reveal it. Put it to you this way. Hugh Jackman kisses himself at one point. <laughs> Let's go. Next topic. We wanted to talk about my favorite moment in the trailer. Uh-huh. And it's where... The I'll... end. <laughs> a little Stadler Waldorf for you. Yeah. It's where Loki and Sylvie hold hands uh-huh. and they make little green... Ma- look at the little green magic poof yeah. happening there. Yeah. Um, uh, I I hope this movie or movie this series doesn't spend too much time getting Sylvie up to speed. Mm-hmm. I think she still retains everything. Yeah. Well, we don't know where she, she knows. is, right? We well, she's at a McDonald's. So but. yeah, so we the last we see at the end of season one, she kind of leaves. Yeah, and we don't know where she goes. Mm-hmm. Uh, they the creators have said when they were kind of talking about the McDonald's tie-in uh, that they said like it made sense. Uh, for the character, I think they even interviewed uh, the actress about this. Mm-hmm. Uh, that like, you know, she would want something comforting and like would just go to like a McDonald's to be like yeah. safe. But she's Get probably hiding nuggies. around because she probably realized quickly like, oh, what I did didn't fix things. It's yeah, that's, that's, that's always hiding. how we feel when we've accomplished our life's goals. Yeah. It's like that didn't get me any oh, happy. Oh, I'm, I'm not happy. happy. It didn't do anything for me. I I'm should still get some chicken nuggets. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is this is what we've all been. I there. was told completing a 1994 Don Ross baseball set would lead to eternal happiness. What? I'm not happy. <laughs> now, I believe the exact quote that the producers oh, okay. said was apple pies, crisp golden French fries, oh. and that McDonald's burger that makes you want to give it all up for one more bite. Nothing's like McDonald's, and that's why Loki's proud to partner with them. <laughs> ba da ba 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 We're loving it. Oh. oh. I'm glad I you think, had that quote I on think, hand. Uh, I think she's going to travel back in time to be that little girl in the piano recital uh, yes. McDonald's commercial. The, oh, I wish I was already there. Yeah. Instead of here playing this song. I think that's going to turn out to be Sylvie. Oh, wow. my God. Well, at least she's not going to go back and try and be Calvin, because that would be blackface. So... You ever seen that? Calvin got a job? You never no, seen that commercial? Calvin know. got a job! I don't right? know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yes, Calvin got a job. Evan and that's knows. why he, I just Evan remember he can't hang out with his friends because he got a job wow. and it's like a huge so deal. Sad. And then there was a run. Calvin got a job, then Calvin got promoted to manager. Oh. And then Calvin got money for college. What happened to Calvin? This sounds like uh this sounds like a propaganda video to it teach is. people that capitalism is right it's because you 100%, don't need friends, all you need is a job. It is one hundred percent uh evil propaganda. <laughs> and if you Google the Chappelle show sketch about Calvin got a job, it's a it's a superior breakdown on why that commercial is wrong than what I'm stammering <laughs> out right now. So let me save you all time. Once you finish watching this video to completion, <laughs> go over to your Google, get on your YouTube, type in Chappelle Show, Calvin Got a Job, okay, and treat okay. yourselves. I like the one where George Alexander is singing about the McDLT, where you oh, keep the Jason high sign Alexander, high you combine his character and his- <laughs> Oh, George, no, George Alexander. No. You guys know George Alexander? Former vice president. <laughs> I don't know George Alexander. You keep the hot on the hot. hot. The cool. That's hot. hot. That's hot. And the cool on the side. Oh, that's the cool, cool side. And that's the good cool. news is those styrofoam containers are still around. Yeah. <laughs> I think the burgers are still around too. With that one test they did where they left a uh, nah. Big Mac on a desk for mm, 10 worth years. It. Worth I'm it. Get I would still eat it. Yeah, it sounds delicious. It's killing us. Uh, I do like, but I do like when they hold hands. Very yeah. cute. Mm-hmm. Very reminiscent of what we saw, especially uh, in like the second to last episode when yeah. they're fighting Elioth and they hold hands and it kind of makes them yeah. more powerful. Yeah. Also, I think that sicko just wanted to hold his sister's hand. It's not his sister. Uh, they're going to have messed up babies. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, also, in uh, the Lamentous episode uh-huh. from uh, season one where yeah. the planet's getting destroyed. Yeah. Uh, they're hiding from the TVA then, you know, Mobius and Hunter B-15 looking for them. And when they like kind of hold hands, there's this big spike uh, in like a timeline branch or something oh. that they can see. So there's like a lot of evidence that when the two Lokis touch, yeah. if you touch two Lokis, it's super power. It creates more yeah. power. The amount of and people I try to tell that like, in college to and they just wouldn't go along. You just want to touch Lokis. That's all. Uh, <laughs> and touch our little Lokis. I like to dock Lokis. Oh, yes. You guys have taken my Let me move my feathers out of the way and let's touch Loki's. Oh my God, what's wrong with your balls? <laughs> They're dying. <laughs> like two dwarf stars. They're Apologies dying. to Tommy's mother. She's today. not watching. Oh, I told okay. I banned her. I, I, banned her. <laughs> I, I blocked her from our That's channel. That's going to make her want to watch more. 
I banned her on Twitch. I blocked her from YouTube. <laughs> she can't comment. All she can do is look at the thumbnails. Do you, do you guys think that Loki and Sylvie will have like a, an apology moment? You know, when we last mm. left them together, Sylvie kind of screwed Loki over. Yeah. They got a kiss and then she like yeeted him through a, a, a time door and closed it shut. I think like, all these Lokis go through a journey of like a bad person to sort of morally gray person yeah. to, and I think like Loki, our Loki was further along than Sylvie was. So maybe, yeah. maybe she'll get there. Uh, uh, I think if she anything had suffered do more it, than our McDonald's Loki, fries right. will help her get there. That's true. Any, if, it, if she dips those fries into hot mustard, see oh, you later. Yeah. She's fully Yeah, good she's at peace. She's like a killing, yeah. Killing that weird dude who was eating an apple that we mm -hmm. met for five minutes didn't make me happy, right. but fries and, and hot mustard. And did. did you know right now you can get fries, hot mustard, and ten nuggets for just six ninety nine? Why? We want to thank our friends at Disney. <laughs> oh. uh, actually, can we agree that Tom Hiddleston has mastered this look as Loki? I, uh, the the look that his balls are dying because that's what I'm seeing here. Is that the again when he says again? No, it's like when he's looking up and he's like. I mean, he's got the most glorious eyes. He's he's doing a lot of work. I'll go back to mine. Mine are pretty good too. He's working hard. <laughs> he's working on. Oh, the, the blues really coming but you through. But you need the tears welling up yeah. like he does. Oh, yeah, you gotta have oh, the there. tears welling up. <laughs> I just hide them in my beard. Inside. They go straight down to my beard and they're suctioned up like a scrub dad. Will Will Loki ever be a villain ever again? Is this show yes! like full, no? Is, has this show like fully redeemed oh, the character? I would love it if they if they encountered a pure villain Loki at some point. I think if they're actually gonna make Make Thor five. It should be Loki, a bad Loki who's like super powered, super pissed, and has none of the memories of feeling any mm -hmm, empathy mm -hmm. or love towards Thor. He should come yeah. back and be like trickster Loki well, from the comics yeah. that was effing s up. That's that's different. You know, you could always introduce a variant of Loki that's where evil. I'm I'm wondering now. I know this Loki isn't the original. Loki, yeah, yeah, yeah. But for all intents and purposes, this is our this is our Loki. Yes. Loki. I don't think he'll ever be. I think he'll always be sort of morally gray. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't think he'll ever. I don't think he'll ever be evil. But like you could argue because in season one he says like I don't enjoy hurting people. Mm -hmm. I just do it because like. It's, right, it's he's like, burdened with glorious purpose. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he'll ever be be evil. I I do think like you know after after he does this or after he docks with Sylvie, he's gonna also be unfulfilled. You know, Sylvie doesn't have a what we we assume oh, doesn't have oh, a penis. Oh, what? Yeah, I mean, I I mean docking. I just meant touch their two magical staffs together. Touch their Loki's. Scepters. Touch Loki's. <laughs> I think they're called Slokies. I mean, the they're both very horny. It's true. Slokey pokies. Very horned. Uh, what else I we mean, got to talk they're, about? They're, they're time slipping. He's time slipping. Oh. He's getting jerked through time. Cool. Well, and he seems to be the only one that's happening to. Do you think that Not is a product of him kind of surviving the first iteration of the TVA with that knowledge? Is that what's oh, causing him to time his slip? His consciousness is toggling uh, Desmond from Lost. That's what happens oh. to, in The Constant, oh, right. the episode of Lost. The Siri. Constant. Go watch it. Uh, make note, album title, Jerking Through Time. <laughs> okay. Make note. Make note. I'm working on my self-titled EP. Oh, okay. It won't be self-titled. Okay. It'll be titled Jerking Through Time. But oh, it's my okay. debut. And it's right. going to win a slam. <laughs> right. Um, will, this, will, will Loki season two be it? Is there a way to keep this oh. show going? Presumably, there's not another season of this show it, before the end oh. of the multiverse saga. I don't know. I think it'll be. It took them two Doom, years to get it'll this. Run for uh, 873 okay. years. Ooh, I like that. Okay, it's I like possible. that. I, I, the only way I could see a season, I would see the only way I couldn't see them trying to do a season three was if they have big plans for Tom Hiddleston to come back into the movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Like because mm -hmm. he seems game to play the character. Obviously, if he only has to do it every two and a half years, mm -hmm. it's like, yeah. You know. I well, mean, I joke, but like with variants, you can keep a character yeah, going forever. Sure, sure. No, for sure. The, it is the version of its regeneration. And if yeah. the if the rumors about the TVA being involved in uh, Deadpool 3 are true, uh -huh. it, it would stand to reason like if it starts to leak into the movies a little bit more, we're going to see more of it. I, and I've, update, I've updated my theory. I don't think we're going to get a uh, Deadpool physical cameo at the end of Loki. Okay. I think we are oh. going to get Ryan Reynolds' voice. Oh, okay. Oh. Like, like Marshall Ali has yeah. played. But yeah. a little more obvious and like, you know, people yeah. don't have to know the lore of the, Interesting. Uh, of, uh, of uh, Dane, 
Dane, whatever his name is. Cook. Cook. Dane. Dane Whitman. Uh, Dane Whitman, yes. It, it, uh, it, maybe, maybe Ryan Reynolds has missed minutes this whole time, and oh. it's just his little oh. joke. I, 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 would, I, would, buy I would buy that one. I would buy that one. Uh, and finally, we we saw the whole gang together at the end of the trailer. Aww. Gang's all here! Um, uh, Eugene Cordero, uh, of course, getting bumped up to a, a, a series regular. Yeah, good He was uh, in the this. credits yeah. as a series regular last year. He just didn't wasn't in most of the episodes. Right, right. Oh. Um, oh. So Casey's going to have like a much bigger role this season. Presumably, good. we're going to see... His real life version in, in time or whatever. Yeah. Like, that he's a variant. But his of. variant seemed to be the most aware that he was like not right, right? Like he, he was like, <laughs> I've only ever lived behind this desk. Right, right, right. My right. whole life has been behind this desk. Like I had no childhood. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, he, he, he seemed to accept things at face value yeah. more than the others. Maybe he's been there the longest and it's just like, that would be hilarious. Yeah. Fully if they, ran out. If they're, if they're like, that's where, that's, he's like the one variant that Kang can't go back and kill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <he's> like, <laughs> they're like, he was Jesus. I want to see more of the cat that we saw briefly in, in mm. season one that's in, oh, the, that, in a little office. Right, right. That wants little pets. Maybe we'll get more cat. Maybe they'll be revealed cat. to be a flurkin. No, I don't want it to be a flurkin. I want no. it to be a cat. Okay. <laughs> Okay. okay. Well, we've well. Uh, we've received your demands. <laughs> we'll pass them along to the creators to see if they can sneak in some uh, some reshoots before. Thank you. The cat can't have tentacles come out of its mouth. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see about that. Uh, so this trailer, does it boost your excitement? Are you still excited for this series? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, John and I have been on this channel re-watching Loki That's season right. one. And like, you know, I loved Loki season one, but time passes, you know. Uh, new interests have come into my life. Oh. New feuds, new everything. Uh, you know, career changes, career evolvements, if you will. And so re-watching Loki has reminded me of what a wonderful show it is. Mm. And I'm very, very excited now. So I forgot how brilliant the storytelling in Loki season one is. Literally, I know I've repeated this, but I'll bang this drum again. Nine minutes into the first episode of Loki season one, Loki to Mobius' face explains exactly what's going on. Now, yeah. it doesn't, he doesn't really know to the level how correct right. he is, mm -hmm. but he literally lays out exactly what's happening at the TVA. And then Mobius is like, you're just a trickster. I You're do think crazy season trickster. one is like the best of the Marvel oh, yeah. series. I, th I think, you know, like we've been breaking them. We've been re-breaking them down. Yeah. So I've been watching them. Watch those re-breakdowns. And it's and I, I, I'm struck by, again, by how good it was. Yeah. Now, a lot of original writers, directors, not involved, mm, not involved. this time, which yeah. I can't say I love. It gives, it gives me pause. It gives me pause. Uh, but they, they this resigned trailer... in disgrace, right? No, not in disgrace. Okay. Not yeah. at all. <laughs> not at all. Absolutely not. There was a huge sex No, movie. no, absolutely not. Well, Kay Aaron and Michael Waldron, that's not what happened. They were no. trafficking cocaine. No, no, Tommy, no. They were erased in time. Okay. Okay. At the end of season one. So they need to be rediscovered. Oh, so these are variants. Yeah, they need to be rediscovered Meet and told. Nate like, Garrett. Hey, you wrote this great show. And Psycho uh, Baldrin. Mm. I think that this is a great, I think it's a great trailer. Great music, great performances. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah those Brits really know what they're doing. That Owen Wilson, he's a peach. I love it. Yeah. I'm in. And Eugene Cordero's uh, wife, Patricia McAlpin, is a great improv teacher. Yeah, that's Well, true. that should hopefully help out the show a lot. Yeah, it probably will. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited as well. You know, uh, I'm excited to see what they do with it, where they go from here. Uh, I hope there's maybe more to the Loki story as a series. I don't know. Listen, I'm I think gonna... the TVA will probably be around in some form in perpetuity in the MCU. I'm going to bring it back to McDonald's, if I may, one more okay, time. Okay, please. <laughs> please. I'm begging yes. you. Please. Uh, I don't if everyone was following Grimace's birthday oh uh, uh, a few months ago. You gotta stop. But, <laughs> but the, the McDonald's social media team was really killing it. And then it exploded on TikTok with people drinking the, the shake and pretending to die with purple blood. Anyway, Mickey D's social media team killing it. I really hope they keep that up throughout Loki season two. They put out some little things about it. Yeah. I want all the McDonald's time. I want McDonald's to sponsor everything. Yes. I want them to be the Taco Bell of Demolition Man. Heck and yeah. it's just- They survived uh, the restaurant wars. Yeah, they, they, it's just the McDonald's, specifically their social media team survives well, the restaurant wars. If anything, it looks like Gina's about to get a job. Move yeah. over, Kelvin. Gina, new face of McDonald's social media. I love it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. No, stop. We're firing her. <laughs> <laughs> Well, on that note, that's it for us today. 
So make sure to subscribe to the Break Room channel right here on YouTube and give us a follow on Twitch where we do these shows live. In fact, we're doing it live right now. Ah! Oh no. If you can believe I'm that. I'm wearing pants. Uh, <laughs> I am wearing pants. There's no need, the feathers cover everything. <laughs> The treatment worked. Thanks for stopping by today. We'll catch you next time. Late as gay as. Have a good day. Bye. Adios. Keep it Gucci the Mooch. Bye.